Hello. How are you today? This is Mary Lou Foster, and I'm here today to show you another beautiful card. It combines the uh, Delightful Florals Designer Series Paper and Heart Felt Hexagon Bundle. We made this in my card class a couple or three weeks ago, and the ladies loved it. The thing about this paper, it's one of those online exclusives, so you may have overlooked it because it's not in a catalog. So um, I wanted to highlight that and show them, remind you and them, be sure and shop the catalogs and my online store so you don't miss out on things. So this paper, um, I mean, look how pretty these colors are. There are three different colors that I've pulled out, and that's not even all that it coordinates with. It coordinates with Berry Burst, which we're using today, Blackberry Bliss, Bubble Bath, which is the new pretty light pink, Calypso Coral, Fresh Freesia, Lemon Lolly, Parakeet Party, Pool Party, and Pretty Peacock. So we're using uh, Pool Party and Parakeet Party today. And it is a top fold card. You know, sometimes we don't, I don't make those very often. And it has uh, beautiful layers. So let's get started. Like I said, it's the Heartfelt Hexagon. This stamp set um, is a very usable, multi purpose, sending you lots of love and hugs. Could be birthday. I'm going to do sincere sympathy today. Uh, let's eat cake. Mr. and Mrs., and it's sized, so you can either do it um, sideways or up and down. As you can see, that would fit up and down. It has um, two different styles of borders that you can stamp, and they fit perfectly in the punch. So that's Heartfelt Hexagon. I will um, post the list of supplies that I have used um, later today. So our uh, parakeet party is cut at four and a quarter by 11. Make sure that is correct. And it is scored at five and a half folded so that you have the top fold card. I'm going to lay that out so I can remember it. And then you layer on a piece of the beautiful berry burst. And I have already embossed the layer with the painted texture 3D embossing folder. And that gives it gives it in person some um, definition and that's not the word I want but um, instead of just being all flat layers when you look at this you can definitely see the uh, texture on there texture is probably the word I'm looking for I'm gonna go ahead and layer that on my very first layer uh, I will post on my blog the cutting instructions it's just easier than me trying to sit here and blurb them out to you. If this is a card you're interested in making, then that information is available or will be available on my blog. I am having a card class at 1 today, but I thought, you know what, I've got time to do a video. Maybe not time to do all the behind the scenes stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and layer this onto the card base. I don't have a display board of the papers in this pack, but I can show you we're using, um, this one is even different, it has bigger flowers. Um, this coordinates with a bundle that is in the annual catalog, it's not bundled anymore, it's a stamp set and dies, and some of those dies are sized to cut these out so that you're not having to... Um, Look at that. They're the smaller. And then the fronts and the backs. We've got the kind of watercolor. watercolor. There's a sheet that is just the greenery. And it has pretty peacock on the back. Which one did I show you already? I showed you that one. I showed you that one. This is the greenery, but it's different colors 
look when you compare them side by side you've got the a different leaf so it kind of has a different look you can layer that on I don't think I've shown you this sheet more of the small flowers so there are six sheets what have I shown you one put that down two three four five and then the one we're using today six and there are two of each so you get 12 sheets in a pack it's 12 by 12 paper as you might have noticed all right so our next layer then is a piece of berry burst with a piece of the designer series paper layered on it and it's going to be mounted on dimensionals because it's the part that our sentiment goes on and mounting it on dimensionals gives it a little definition you can see where the calypso coral comes in on these flowers unfortunately it's gonna kind of be covered and there is a bit of a one-way design on this paper so if you're working with it at home take a moment to look and see what direction that goes so what i want to do is kind of figure out i don't want to stamp in the very smack middle of that what have we got on the inside oh i don't have that piece I'm going to use the border that has a line and little pokey dots. And I'm going to do it in pool party. Then my sentiment. I like to do the outside first. Everybody is different. And there's not like a right way and a wrong way. You know what? I think I can do it this way. I believe so. It'd be easier to punch. And that stamp, it looks... It looks so fine, like it's not going to give you very much, but it actually gives you a nice border. So let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment. It's also easier for me to work with the big piece. And they have these sized, so our sentiment will fit inside of that. I have not tried this in real life yet. I am trusting the process, and I'm stamping it in Berry Burst. Yes, it did work. Whew, good thing. And then I'll have to go looking for a sentiment because in class we made this one to kind of be a birthday card. And it's, uh, I hope your day is filled with joy. So probably for a sympathy card, you don't necessarily want to say that. But you could do the hugs and lots of love depending on how close you are to the person you're sending the card to. I'm holding my mouth just right, centering that up. See how I've, just, I've squeezed it just enough to hold it in place so that it doesn't move around. And then when I squeeze it the rest of the way, it punched out for me. That's the heartfelt hexagon. We're going to be using this one a whole lot more. There, there are some uh, stamp sets in the Celebration brochure that uh, will, the sentiments will fit. Might have stamped it a little bit crooked. I've used ribbon from the um, Ribbon Duo Combo Pack. It has the petal pink and then, mm, yeah, probably Parakeet Party. To me, it and uh, Lemon Lime Twist are kind of hard to tell apart. And then everybody does their nest of ribbon differently. I like to kind of size it under the label. I was watching another demonstrator, and she actually did it on her card front. So maybe I'll try that just to be different. I'm going to do my adhesive up and down this way so I have more to work with. And it's just a back and forth uh, layout of the ribbon. I do want it to be wide enough to stick out from underneath. Yeah, see, that's not going to be big enough. That's another reason I like to use the label, because then I know it's somewhat better. And give it a little trim. 
and this is on dimensionals but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my dimensionals at the top and the bottom and not on the ribbon. My ribbon's going to stay stuck because I have put my adhesive down and another thing that does now the ribbon is stuck on the card front and not on the back of the label. This one is stuck on the back of the label and you can kind of see it's elevated some. <clears throat> There's not a right or a wrong or a better or a best. It's the look that you like and the technique that you like. I'm going to line up the right side of my sentiment with the edge of the very burst. <clears throat> and then we'll put on our dimensionals. And you know I like to do them in the corners and in the middle. I don't layer tons and tons. I try to make them go as far as they will. And we're going to center. Actually, it's not centered. It's um, left justified. Everything doesn't always have to be center centered. Thank you. And then for our embellishments, we are using the 2022-24 In Color Pearls. These are just beautiful. They have a, a shine to them. And I think today I'm going to use, I may use Sweet Sorbet. Even though it says it's Sweet Sorbet. What I, no, I think I will go back and use the Parakeet Party. And let's put one here. And, and a hint, when you're uh, getting your any of your embellishments off of this clear plastic and using a, a you pick it tool or a piercing tool, be sure you get underneath the little dot that's on the back of these. Uh, sometimes uh, my ladies don't get that dot and they put their embellishment on their card and when they lift it it falls off and they don't notice it and i find it later or i'll find the little sticky still stuck here but there's no pearl on top of it so that's just a hint to uh, kind of look and see and make sure you have that little dot these are self-adhesive so you know you're not having to try to use a glue dot or a dot of glue uh, liquid glue to adhere your embellishments they should already be ready to just stick on your project and then I will finish the inside of this card it, it'll need a liner and um, a sentiment but I wanted to at least show you the outside so that uses the delightful florals designer series paper that is uh, let me do it this way it is an online exclusive, so don't forget to look there. And we've used the Heartfelt Hexagon Bundle, and that one is in the, um, I believe it's in the new mini that just released earlier this month. And don't forget, celebration is going on. So buying that paper in that bundle should qualify you for some free items. And I did, I've already set up, so I don't have the, um, what did I do with the punch? Oh, I put it in the tub already. But the heartfelt hexagon, uh, right off the top of my mind, I don't remember how much it is. So you might have to add the pearls or the ribbon to get it up to 50 to qualify for a free celebration product. There are some gorgeous things. So you can shop with me at maryloufoster.stampingup.net. Um, or, and then, like I said, I will post the list of supplies on my blog at maryloufoster.com, uh, brightstarstamperblogspot.com, but that's too hard to remember. So if you need a catalog, just let me know. You can comment on this video, send me a message, uh, text me, email, but in the meantime, I just wanted to show you um, this pretty pretty card and I'm going to use it for a sympathy card um, or you might get it as a thank you card 
because there is um this one doesn't have the thank you but that free stamp set does so this is one you could just kind of customize for whatever you need so i hope you have a really great day and until next time stay warm